What's up YouTube? Welcome back to YouTube. Today we have a really, really exciting unboxing from the cubicle. Hey everyone, this is Editor Keeping Tube here. I just want to apologize for not uploading for the past few weeks. I took a little break and because of that I am a little backed up on some videos. So those videos will be coming your way over the next few weeks. I would like to thank all the people who have stayed subscribed, they're still watching my videos, commenting, etc. For being patient, um, even though there has been a lack of uploads. So before we get into the package at all, I am now sponsored by The Cubicle. You can use discount code PEACEOUT to get a piece out of your total at The Cubicle's checkout. Huge shout out to The Cubicle for the sponsorship and uh, these cubes. Uh, so let's get straight into it. First we have a cubicle mat because you know I gotta represent my peeps. Plus I've just wanted this mat for a long time. Oh, it's a lot smaller and thinner than I had expected. So in here we have two cubes, Gan Pyraminx Explorer Edition. Then we also have the standard Gan Scube. So I know you guys are probably most excited for the Scube, so I'm going to get into that first. Okay. My current maid is, is the Allion. Let's just take a look at this real fast. Gan Bag, the adjustment tool pamphlet on how it works and just a pamphlet on how to solve the cube okay oh wow this is really really light it's got a glossy but the slightest bit of a matte finish okay let's turn it okay it's about I would say as fast as the Allion, if not a little slower. It just feels faster, like when you t do sledgehammers and stuff like that, because the turning is lighter, because of the lighter weight, you know. But it has more controllability than the I think than the Allion. It has buttery smooth turning. The magnets are they're light. I actually, I prefer light magnets, so that's why I went with the standard version. Let's take a look at this adjustment thingy. I don't have any of the new GAN cubes, uh, so I'm excited to test this out. I like this system a lot because your tensions will always be even. And then, you know, you got extra nuts if you want to change the other settings. So, for those of you that don't know, basically this clear, uh, sorry, not the clear the light blue is to adjust the tension and then the clear part is to adjust the spring compression so you can see it's on the default setting and then if I keep rotating it counterclockwise it gets lower and lower until it goes back I'm not gonna get into too much detail because a lot of people know how that works already the shades look very similar to GAN's you know stickerless shades it, they just look a little more vibrant, and that's because of the primary internals. I don't feel any catching, it's just that right now my turning is a little inaccurate because I'm not used to the finish, but that should go away with some break-in. Stop corner cutting. Okay. Let's see, reverse. Pretty good. I don't think this cube is going to pop that often, or at all. The cube does have a honeycomb design. Also right here, which is pretty interesting. Because this is not the enhanced version, there are no magnets in the centers or the edges, only in the core and the corners. There's the magnet on the corners, and then there's the magnet inside the core. They still provide a kind of a click, but it's very, very like not noticeable, but they still help a lot with the stability, which I really like. I will come back at the end of the video and give you my final thoughts, but for now, let's just go ahead and move on to the Pyraminx. So I've been debating on whether or not I should get this Pyraminx, and now I've had the chance to get it. Um, my main right now, I don't really know what's my main. Either the Mr. M or the X-Men Bell version 1. I've heard this is not that fast, so I got the Explorer one because uh, I want to be able to change the GES just in case it's not fast enough for me. Also, lighter magnets will help, you know, make it a little faster than it would be if it had more magnets. Let's take this out. 
Okay, yeah, that's light. Pyraminx in, a, in plastic wrap is very interesting. Then you just get a GAN pa pamphlet and the GS nuts. Okay, that was a little weird. They have about the same finish. I think this feels a little more matte, but that could be because I, I have done more turns on this one already. It does feel a little unstable, but I don't really mind. I like how they put the GAN logo on the blue side. I think it might be slightly smaller than regular Pyraminxes. I have my other Pyraminxes here. Um, well, the ones I've used as main. So here's the Bellevue one. I've had this cube for like four years and it still can be my main, but I kind of want a new main. Um, I sort of mentioned that in my um, Mr. M unboxing video. I like this cube a little bit, but not as much as the bell. So I'm still hoping that this could be my main. And I also have the Moe Magnetic Pyraminx here. But the Moe Magnetic Pyraminx is a little bigger than regular Pyraminxes, as you can see. The Gan Pyraminx is as big as the Mr. M. I like how it feels round. It reminds me of the Bellevue one in that way. Let's turn it. Okay, that's not slow at all. You know what, maybe I'll get the enhanced one in the future. It's pretty smooth. And quiet. I think this is going to be my main. Let's test out corner cutting. Because I've heard corner cutting on here is pretty good. Does it lock up anywhere? Okay, there. I think that, okay, so this corner cutting is pretty good, but I think it's because, okay, the core magnets kind of help with that because once it starts to go up and out a little more, the magnets uh, start to, you know, come together and stuff like that. Tips. Okay, tips. Not too light, not too strong. Okay, I think the bell still has, oh no. They're about the same strength, and I really like that. I'm pretty sure this is going to be my main because I really like lighter turning on pure minxes and good corner cutting. And then also, I like my tips to be nice and strong. And that's pretty much what I feel in this. So let's just take out a piece. I have the core magnets with the edge pieces. And there's actually no honeycomb on the edges. There is on the centers, and then there is the core magnets. Underneath there, I don't know if you can see, there's also the honeycomb design there too. Both of these cubes have the same exact shades, if you were wondering. They feel pretty similar. I feel like this cube is a little more like smooth. Uh, this has a more of a smooth, crispy type of feel with a low pitch sound, which is really nice. So, I... I think I've spent enough time on So I think I spent enough time with these cubes to give you my final thoughts. So starting off with the Gans cube, this was pretty much an instant main. Before we get into how it feels, how it performs and stuff like that, I'm going to show you my preferred settings. So if you pop open the corner cap, you can see all the different customization options. So there are 24 different combinations, I'm pretty sure, on this cube. There are four different settings for the the blue part two with the light blue nuts and two more with the darker blue that it's just uh center distance so just how loose or tight the cube is so that would be like you know your screw so there's six different settings for the clear part so here's the default two three four five six wait what two three four five six Oh, okay. So, default, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven is back to the default. I prefer mine on the fourth setting, and I like the light blue nut on setting number one. So, setting number one is the tightest. The higher the number is, the looser it gets. So, if I were to compare this to the Allion, it's a little faster, softer, smoother, and lighter. It is more forgiving, too, so... When I do my sledgehammers and stuff like that, it is a lot easier for me to complete them 
because I don't worry about it catching or locking up. I have not gotten any lockups on this cube, no pops. I've gotten a few catches, but you know, the cube's not gonna be completely perfect. Just hold it like that. The outer plastic felt really weird out of the box. It had like a slight matte finish to it. It was really weird. But after a while, you kind of get used to it. It's pretty slippery out of the box, but now it's pretty much fine. So I would definitely recommend this over the Allion because the Allion is about $20 and the standard version is about $20 too. I don't really see myself buying the enhanced version uh, just because I think this is pretty good. The magnet strength, it's like medium to light. If you turn slow, you can feel the bump, but when you turn fast, you don't feel it at all, which gives it a smoother feel, which I really like. If you don't want to spend $20 on this cube, then don't buy it. Go for the wingy or something like that. So I think this is the best cube on the market. The enhanced might be better, but I don't think I'll buy the enhanced. I, I'm pretty satisfied with this. So it's my main. I think you should buy it. Uh, you won't regret it. Moving on to the Gan Pyraminx. It's not as smooth as the cube out of the box. It has a nice soft feel and it's a little smooth. After breaking, it starts to have a more crunchy, crispy feel, as you can probably hear. I don't think it's as quiet as it was out of the box, but I don't know. It's still kind of quiet. I did already put a few drops of lube into here, just because it was starting to not feel as great as I wanted it to. Keep in mind that it might need lube pretty soon. The tips are kind of hard to get off. Sometimes I can get all of them off, but I am using the yellow nuts. I honestly thought I was going to use looser GS nuts, but this cube is pretty floppy and that's because the magnets are only in the core. I don't know why. This cube feels pretty stable, but this one feels kind of floppy. So I might get the enhanced version just because uh, I like this cube. It's just, it's too flexible. So this is the strongest spring and I have it on the tighter setting, which is 0.6. I have gotten some pretty nice times on this, but I don't think it's going to be my main. I already have the Mr. M and the X-Man Bell and the, the Moe Magnetic. Those are all really good cubes. It's just hard to pick a main. I, I go back and forth with the Bell and the Mr. M and sometimes the Moe Magnetic. And that will probably happen with this cube too. I will like to get the Bell version too to see how they all compare. If you'd like to see a comparison on all those pyramids, let me know in the comment section. That was supposed to be an arrow pointing down, but I don't know if that made any sense. The corner cutting is really good on this pyramid. It's actually really impressive, but because of the flexibility, it really doesn't matter that much. So there is a possibility I'll get the enhanced in the future and I don't know. We'll see. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos. Let me know what you want to see next time in the comment section down below. Huge thanks to the cubicle for sending these cubes to me and in the mat. See you guys next time. That wasn't as hard as I expected it to be. Peace out.